Um, just New York City, 2001, about to turn to 2002. Yeah, motherfucker, yeah! Pretty much missed the era of the train. Came up, like, started writing in the late 80s on uh, mostly, like, a, a highway, you know, highway spots all over, mostly in the Bronx. Uh, but got into pretty much all the boroughs, but that was really what we focused on was highway bombing. And we were into shit where it wasn't like uh, painting like big elaborate pieces really. Our shit was just like mass, mass coverage of like spots, you know, more and clean and big. A Life is basically a collective of there's me and there's three other partners here and everybody kind of brings a little something new to the mix and uh you know we have a retail store and then upstairs we deal you know we have a creative space where we deal with a lot of artists we publish a, a magazine we work on a magazine for Ma called mass appeal which is basically a, a graffiti magazine we do the creative direction for it we uh bring the content into the magazine we try to like differentiate it than all the other graffiti magazines that are out there that usually just show straight up like pictures of graffiti we're more about trying to get into like the lifestyle of what it is to like grow up with graffiti in your life whether it be like uh, something documenting the tools of the trade or you know talking to old school people and getting like whatever their view on shit or talking to the young kids and seeing what they're doing a tag still you know and i'll drop a little something here and then but not definitely is not not as much as we were just because the spots that we used to hit are pretty much gone i mean some people might say i mean i don't really give a shit we were out there just to put our name up and that was it you know we didn't really give a fuck if we were vandalizing i mean there's rules you don't write on people's houses and shit like that but you know the things we would write on we didn't really give a fuck about the highway spots and overpasses and shit like that the way it's linked together i guess it's basically like uh just a subculture and I, I think no matter where you are if you are like a writer you can go to a different area and hook up with writers from a different area and pretty much it's it's just a family you know it's like it's it's uh it, everybody speaks kind of the same language so it's pretty easy to like talk and communicate with other writers or whatnot just because you all pretty much come from the same type of thing